champion, the challenger of the crowd here at the MGM Grand, a convivial one, singing a lot of visitors in and out all night. Me wrestling room, it was quiet. August, very point out. I'm oh good right hand by Canelo. They're both. I meant to say the fact that Lopez amazingly is a man, Lopez, but it's a story that Lopez of this champion really polished. He does, but it seems like he's trying to as he's kind of sitting on the back foot working off the jab. There he goes. Lopez a lot more measured than he. Not a lot, and a little is what at least Got from 140 to 147 to vanquish victory, a broken jaw. Capitulated at the end of round nine, and now he's tasting the power of the champion here at 154. Lopez putting together some... A combination punch. Canelo can't throw a no more some people think about him. Canelo is last misses. Canelo is actually custom to seeing him. Yep. We thought he was... Canelo. Canelo and his camp. Time and again, they are set to take on the next level here on Mexican. Major fight, Canelo Alvarez, host WBC Super Walter Weight Championship. Yeah, Tribute to the, the legend boxing and coming out of Mexico over the years. Jack Trunks and really very excited to be fighting on this Mexican Independence Day weekend. Although Lopez now bringing the fight to the champion. Somewhere he wanted to there keep the champion. Right hand is clapping his hands down the brink. Now you notice Lopez stepped the way exchange. He doesn't want to just with it with Canelo. And Canelo Alvarez wow. now come up to the body and now putting together the combination. Tagging is great action here in round two. Oh, and a right up a cut. Canelo do with adversity. In that Canelo answered by the champion Canelo Alvarez. Action is opening up here, round two. From the champion. Oops. Not here, not getting lost, knocking up what is essentially two weight classes, gets tagged with the right hand, with the left. A minute left here in the second round, and Lopez, again, missing with that right hand as Canelo Alvarez has been able to avoid it. And has Lopez on the rope. Punch off the ropes. That's not what he said. I'm going to try it a couple times and see how I do. He's doing it right now. Off the ring, he's trying to trap, trap Lopez on the ropes and use it down again. He's trying to impose that size and create that doubt inside Lopez's head. And a couple of jabs. this knocked on in a round in which it was very very close they landed exactly the same number of punches but the difference this powerful left hook to the body and remember we said Lopez should not back himself against the ropes he knew he shouldn't Henry Ramirez knew he shouldn't but he did and he paid for it I love how Canelo set up that hook to the body he it's, it's a throwaway punch that second punch was kind of a throwaway soft right off a cut he kind of just touched him with it he didn't throw it hard and then he just to get the momentum to his left side of his body so he can put some torque on that hook to the body. Cortez, round three underway. How will Lopez taste of adversity into... They said they the power, but the power regulation size gloves made a difference. And that's the fight gloves. When you wear yep. fight gloves and then sparring, those things hurt. Yep. Goes to the body. Canelo beginning to score it well, but Lopez showing his fight. And now another body shot. He's too small. This fight. Several looks from above. 
he gets great leverage on these body shots. A terrific left hook downstairs after he had landed the combination to the head, which Pauly talked about him setting up that body shot. He did it again, and Pauly, from every angle, it's just as painful. Yeah, and you know what? I, I love the variation. Canelo touches up top, goes downstairs, goes downstairs, and comes back up top. You know, Can Lopez is so game. He, I, he's not only getting up, he's getting up and fighting back. He, he, he's not looking for a way out of here. We'll see how much more he can take, or if he can get Canelo's respect here in the coming rounds. He's got to do something to get that respect, because it's one-way traffic. But I tell you, Lopez isn't even looking at his corner for help or anything. I mean, he gets up and he fights. 55 seconds into round three from another to the body. Now, we've said by Trin, he used this style effectively, even just to now Canelo Alvarez, a stock. A huge advantage for the champion. Percentage. And that's a lot of credit has to do with that. Oh, and he touches him again. It's up top. It's to the bottom. It's from the left side. It's from the right side. Variation is the key to a lot of... Left up. Lopez stays in the pocket. He's been battered and dropped twice, but he remains in the fight. Right hand from the champion. And again, he goes to the body, and again, Lopez is in trouble. Doubled over. And he thinks we can deduce whether it was, in fact, low. That, that one was. was it yes. was kind of on the belt line, but just uh, low enough in. that it would be uh, classified a low one. If Canelo Alvarez, he didn't try and throw another punch there sooner than he should have. When in doubt, he just punched. Lopez, double body. And now it's Lopez opening up, but again. What Canelo's doing here is trying to break Lopez down by walking him down right through on his offense. And, and now back goes on again to the body and the right hand. Lopez is. For the third straight round, Josecito, before the knock, knockdown, this is the low blow that created issues for Josecito Lopez. He took about less than a minute to walk that off. Then Lopez had his moments in this round. Coming back, landing a right hand and some other shots. Didn't land them all cleanly, but you can see how aggressive he was here. However, Canelo came back and with the body attack as a staple for the third straight round would send fifth round underway here at the Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. W has in the red, green and white trunks. Lopez moving up in weight. Can an American feet. He gets up, dusts himself, popping jabs this round. He's trying to do something. But Canelo showcasing, as you mentioned, to hone his skills. Let's not forget, despite this B second professional fight, he's just 22 years of age. And again, attacking the body. Caught on those ropes way too much. And he's for Canelo. And Canelo again. Three punch coming in. Joe Cortez looking very carefully in there. But Lopez punching back and punching back well right now. Canelo was hands down, taking the shots and coming back with potent punches. Again, ripping away. I'll tell you what, Lopez defensively has made a slight adjustment when he's on the ropes. He's, he's moving his head a little bit more. Yeah. Before he was just putting his hands up. As I say that, he stopped moving his head. He might definitely, but I'll tell you what. I don't know that he wants to stop this fight right now. Lopez is doing a good job. Final minute of the oh, fifth round, and Lopez catches the champion with a right hook. And three good right hands. And oh. a left uppercut. Lopez can win here in the 40 seconds. Still not, not willing to give in, but trade. And yet, Alvarez again going. Josecito Lopez first got in trouble in this round. Now, Lopez landing a nice right hand as he had been, but that body work by Canelo Alvarez was just devastating in this he, fight. He liked to use that uppercut to set up that body shot. It's the same thing he did in round one. And here's where the stoppage happened. Joe Cortez looking carefully in it. There's no question Lopez was taking some punishment here. And Joe Cortez says that's enough. And Lopez, not really too much of a protest. 
Another look at it. Alvarez landing that pulverizing right hand and ripping hooks. That one missed, but clearly he had Lopez against the ropes and in some trouble. Remember, Lopez had been down three straight rounds, so good, good stoppage. Yeah, there's there, there's context to this. Although Lopez had had very good moments in this round, he did. He did. He was he was fighting the whole time, but ultimately Lopez is just so brave. He's not going to fold. So no. somebody has to rescue him from that. And his his power just wasn't enough to hurt. Canelo, and as he wails away with that straight right, the concern by Joe Cortez was how he got tangled up here and might have been in a vulnerable position where he wouldn't be able to avoid a punch. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still the WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World.